This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutation viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Wolfenstein The New Order. In the last episode, we are getting attacked by a, uh, a machine that's being a dick. Wouldn't even let me give, a, give me, have an introduction. But anyway, in the last episode, we explored the London Technological Building so we could uh, use it to uh, gather, get Project Whispers and get that uh, um, basically silent helicopter for the most part. I don't know how you pull that off, but anyway, we were trying to steal it and we got uh, set upon by a, uh, a mechanical robot that seems to just want to summon stuff throughout the whole level to attack us. And uh, apparently sometimes it knows where I am and sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, we need to go back out there so we can actually start uh, uh, using some more efficient weapons on him. I bet he has basically range of the whole map to shoot us with those little bomb things of his or whatever you'd like to call it. If he didn't summon them like every other second, I would have a bit better time like uh, using this on him. Nah. Got that. Damn it. Doesn't really give you enough time. It takes too long to mount the weapon to uh, really utilize it properly. You know what I mean? Oh well. Blast him a bit before we. No, no. Dang it! Now well, luckily he's not a. Uh, luckily he's not like a bunch of regular dudes attacking me, so I have a bit. So I'm not going to immediately like lose all my hit life in the span of like five hits. You know what I mean? Which is better. Ah, fine, I'll just take the hit took me too long just to get to this in the first place. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have taken the hit now that I think about it. I'm trying to remember where another HP spot was. I think it was around here somewhere. First I need to... God! Don't you have to have line of sight for to hit me with that type of stuff? Are we not using D&D &D rules? No, we're not. Okay, anyways. That heal up a bit. We need that. So, I need to get back out there so I can use those. Uh... Jesus! Oh, I don't care if I got disconnected. Wait, why was I even on X Plus Live to begin with? Oh, well, whatever. I don't even do anything online with my Xbox anymore. Well, this is a 360. Everyone's got an Xbox One now or something like that, so, you yeah. know. What? I just, you can't kick me off while it's mounting it, can you? Oh good, it's dead. Although, am I gonna die from it? Nope, okay, good. Hooray, he's dead. Right. All right. Nazi's dead. Nazi robot's dead. Broke all your shit. Helicopter secure. I would call that a good day, Blaskowitz, I think. Even though we probably don't even need the armor, because cause we probably just have to go to the spot and we're good to go. Uh... Oh, I didn't even think about. I didn't even think about uh, breaking open the crates to try and get uh, items and stuff like that. The game and the enemies did that for me. Upper level? How do I get to there? Oh, would that be over here where the robots came out of? Huh, looks like it. Ow! Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, did I? Uh, I guess I don't really need to explore anyone else, do I? I eh, might as well grab the rest of this armor and health before I run out of here. I think there was supposed to be some health around here, yeah. That way. Let's see. Uh, trying to think if there's any like random secrets I could have missed. Probably, but I don't want to spend forever here to checking them out, so let's go on to the next part. Spent too much time uh, trying to take out like only like a handful of dudes last episode anyway, so... Gotta make some progress. Come on, Black Switch. We can't just be, can't just be uh, twiddling our thumbs with our, with our, whatever. Ah, yeah, never mind. Oh, am I out of ju Oh, are you kidding me? I have to go back and get juice for this thing. <sighs> Way to go! All right, fine. Climb on down. Or don't climb down. I. T there it is. I would have done. I would have charged that up at the beginning of the episode, but I I was kind of in the middle of a boss fight, so kind of didn't really get a good chance to do that. All right, now let's go back. Now that we have our uh, thing charged up, we can finally get out of here and finally get that a uh, helicopter. 
I wonder if I wonder if getting the helicopter really is going to make a difference in the war. Because you know, technically, if this was a video game, if we actually were trying to create a resistance, that would take like years, if not like decades, due to depending on uh, like how like how we need to get uh, uh, resources and allies and stuff like that. Although modern times, I guess it wouldn't take as long because modern technology basically just like ex exfoliates the 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 how long it takes to for one thing to be taken over or controlled or whatever. Gibraltar Bridge opened. Madrid, October 3rd, 1957. The biggest bridge ever built was finally inaugurated yesterday evening in front of a gathered crowd of top Nazi politicians as well as specially invited upstanding citizens in the area. The honor of cutting the ribbon went, of course, to our beloved leader who has flown in from Berlin this morning and held a short but powerful speech afterwards in front of the impressive construction crossing the Gibraltar Strait. I was moved to tears, said Vilma, a local shop owner. He has such a way with words. She wasn't the only one who was moved to tears. Gunther Gun Grunwald, head engineer of the project, receives official thanks from our leader. I am speechless, said Grun Grunwald. Afterwards, I don't know what to say. You should have killed him. You should have done it. Alright, before we... Now let's grab that. Even though that I'm not really going to be able to utilize it anyway. Let's see if there's any other random stuff around here we could grab. Yeah, it doesn't look like. It. Press the button, Blaskowitz. Okay, why is there heavy metal coming on? That's why we're getting heavy metal music. Okay. Oh. Okay. I don't know why you have heavy metal music playing though. Okay, well, like I said, that was kind of random. I mean, I don't have anything against heavy metal, it's just not my type of music, but it seemed kind of weird to have it just for this small scene of them, uh, like, uh, hang gliding down. Jeez, lady, calm down. Just because you're crippled doesn't mean you can be a jerk. Even more incentive to, uh, to make you fight for yourself. No, I'm just kidding. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, in the pilot seat you go. Oh, how how fun, how nice, Caroline, 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 whatever. Oh, we had to put. Oh, okay, we're grabbing. Oh, we're grabbing all three of them. Okay. Well, that would be kind of silly just to grab one and get out of here, you know. survive. I thought you were dead. Don't remember much. Remember punching Hans Gross in the face. Remember ascending into the sky. For a moment there, I thought it was going to heaven. Then falling, then pain. First pain of my life. Felt like my insides were running out through my back. Could barely move. Had to crawl. They found me after three days in a ditch. Long months in a Kreisauer hospital bed. They were shoving tubes in me. Infection. Ugh, these things I don't want to remember. I'm sorry about your legs. Don't be. I've learned how to fly. What is the dot ye should? How can we get in contact with them? Anya, what do we know? Very little, but I have some ideas. Good. Anya, you take the lead on this. 
Blaskovich. Whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah? William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? That was kind of weird that the game was trying to click into the, the picture there for a second. Let's see if we can collect anything in this little section. Uh, looks like there's a couple of things. A health upgrade. A record. I'm not going to try to grab everything, but uh, before I talk to her, I'll probably have to look around for stuff anyway, but I wonder if taking a nap will fix that again. will get us another free upgrade. I think I got one from the last chapter. Yeah, we're basically in the... Uh, ooh, what's this? Bobby's letter. Oh, might as well read off a bit of that. How much time do I have? Oh, I got plenty of time. Charlotte, do you remember the red cat? Red cat. How it begged by our window and how you fed it shrimps or the snails in the porch who fell down in the, in the table into your knee. Do you remember the sunny side of Primrose Hill, the broken glass of Clapham Pride and the nursery school, the one you said our politicians killed? Do you remember how your smile turned into tears, how you flew and flew into my arms and laughed and kissed music into my ears? Do you remember how your anger turned into fear, how you listened and listened to talks and talks and how all the promises disappeared? Do you remember the red cat, how it craved and how it came back every day? I think it belonged to Miss Calloway. I'm not sure, but it explained why it didn't when she moved away. Do you remember Manny's smile or Mon Moni's smile? How she laughed and laughed at this clownish snail, how she ran down the slopes of Primrose Hill, and her first taste of beer and her eyes with blood appear with blood appear or outside the playground, tears and tears, hugs and all the hugs, and how she danced into the air, and how I love you, dear. How I love you, dear. Hmm. He'd been keeping that to himself this whole time. I think we read all this stuff from the last episode, so I can Please. ignore her. I will talk to you in a minute, lady. I want to explore. Hey, crazy lady. How's it going? Got anything new? Got any gadgets? You actually do anything in the story? I would like to think you do, but uh, who knows. I assume I could still do the nightmare mode if I really wanted to. I might check that out just to see if it's anything different. Like maybe a new level. If it isn't, I'll just let myself get killed and end the level quickly. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Why is that highlighted? Oh, that must be just a weird d discoloration. Man, is everyone in bed? I guess so. Hmm. Is there anything to really look out for? I might, might, uh, there might not be anything more until we talk to her. Which would be fine. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, let's see. Time to get some, uh, okay. Well, nothing here. Nothing here. I think we might be, I think I might be wasting everyone's time. Well, let's see if sleeping will get us another free health upgrade. Oh, excuse me a second. Sorry, I had to scratch my ear. It's getting quite itchy. Quite itchy indeed. Alright. Hey, cool. We need that. We need those upgrades, you know, for the end of the game type of stuff. Uh, what else is around here? So we got the letter, treasure, and a record. I don't really care about finding the record. I mean, if I find it, cool, but it's not like a end of the world type. Yeah, toy or a um, dancer. What the? I forgot what those are. No, did I? Did I get that before? Mold infestation in Berlin, London, May fifteenth, nineteen fifty-three. It's fair to say that there's some sort of poetic justice in this. Reports from our resistance friends in Berlin suggest that a new type of mold spore has started infecting structures made out of the super concrete made by the regime. It has started festering in the massive underground ventilation system. It is spreading throughout the city. Friends of the resistance, or sorry, friends of the feet. No, that is Friends of the Resistance. This could be a major advantage for us. The mold seems to corrode the stability of the concrete, making it easier to destroy structures that are important to the regime in Berlin. Huh. Yeah. I don't. I, I doubt the mold has anything to do on the actual plot. More like a uh, just a fleshing out the background of the of the world, for the most part. Wait, why do I need to go in there? I haven't even talked to that one. Uh, I haven't even talked to. Anya yet to, uh, for anything. Um, and really, we're just using this for test. It's supposed to help us for, uh... Did I really step back way too close? Too bad there's no, like, a, achievement or anything like that for getting a bullseye, which I've done multiple times. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, we... Are we ever going to be able to open that? Hmm, 
I guess not. Or maybe when the story indicates I need to. Yeah, we can still access the nightmare. Hmm. I don't see any other secrets. Maybe I have to do what uh, Anya asked of me before we, uh, before we can start really looking around. All right, let's take a look at the nightmare and see if, uh, see if anything new appears. If if there's no new level, then I'll skip it. Hmm. Looks like it's a repeat. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's a repeat. I'll just let myself get killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, kill me, kill me, kill me. Oh darn, I'm so bad at this game. Yeah, I didn't need to do that. I mean, that was fun. Don't get me wrong. It's just if I'm not gonna get anything from it, I only wanted to show finishing it once on screen, and I think that was enough for everyone to uh, to see and enjoy. Not too bad this game won't let me just fall, just drop all the way down. All right, Anya, I'm gonna come to talk to you. Better be ready for some Blaska Witch. Boom, pow, right in the kisser. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, Anya. I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes, everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. What? That'll be all. We can go now. I already like this girl already. Actually, I kind of liked her since the beginning because you know, she you know gave up her archaeology degree to uh, to help patients. You know, and despite all the crap that's happened to her, she's kind of bucked up pretty quickly to, uh, um, you know, you know, despite the death of her parents and all that, she's bucked up pretty quickly to uh, help us out in all this. So, lady's got guts, I'll tell you. War makes the toughest out of all of them. Still got anything to say? Nope. Okay. What's that? Oh, we. Oh, I... what are you laughing at? Yes, please. I saw Fergus read in there earlier. I did. He had keys. Okay. <laughs> well, this is supposed to be kind of a small, like, kind of just a. Um, oh, what's the word? A. Uh, it's supposed to be a calm point in the game. Uh, these are supposed to be calm sections of the game, so that way, you kind of get to know the characters as well as just a. Um, uh, you know, not being chased and gunned down every other second. Fergus, I need the keys to the archives. You got them? Yeah. Hang on. Fuck! 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 You okay, Fergus? I'm getting old, Blazkowicz. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing that. We'll be all right. We can still get the job done. Aye? For how much longer? What's this about, Fergus? I don't know. Nothing. Everything. It's about that boy, goddammit. Private Wyatt. He should be here instead of me. He was young. He, he had potential. He could have given us a future. You and me were two fucking mummies from the past, running on nothing but willpower. I made the wrong choice. Well, that's fucking obvious, isn't it? I was ready to die. I would have done it gladly. I worked my ass off to save that boy, Blazkowicz, and you fucking piss it away on a whim. Remember Prendergast? That fucking kid, he could endure anything. Now he's gone. They're all fucking gone. And you're stuck with this useless fucking skeleton. I mean, tell me, what's the long-term solution, eh? Who's gonna take over when we're too damn battered to strap on the horses anymore? Now get the fuck out. I need a nap.
surprised he still remembers him after five years, but he's having survivor's remorse. I know older soldiers seem to suffer from that more than, uh, more than younger, um, soldiers. Because, you know, the older soldiers have lived long. They've kind of, uh... Invasion, uh, festering in the massive underground ventilation system. Yep, we'll get to that here in a second. But yeah, like, well, it's because the old old dudes well, have done it so many times. But uh, I'm liking you less and less, lady. All right, let's see if we can find that uh, info that uh, Anya needs. Hey, we got an incentive, right? She gave us a kiss on the cheek, gave us a little bit more. That would have been funny if it gave us like a health health uh, boost when, when that happened. I don't know, I just think that would have been funny. Like an in-game uh, reason for it. Ooh, is that the treasure? Nope, okay. Well, it was highlighted specifically, so. Well, I know what I'm supposed to grab. I'm just seeing if there's any like secret items or anything like that. Probably going through the sewer will unlock. Ooh. Huh, we'll have to go in there here in a second. Because we still need to grab a piece of stone. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that here in a second. I just went... Okay, why aren't I grabbing onto this? Come on. Eh, I thought Blasco was supposed, to, was supposed to have like an automatic grab ability on certain things. You know what I mean? Like if, if it's something you can get to, you can uh, he like auto climb up a bit, but it's not... Let me do that. Maybe I'm maybe I'm not supposed to get through there from this way. Maybe there was like a a way around it or something. Okay, I can't get in. I I've, I've tried. Maybe if we couldn't get the keys, we could have we could have get made the uh, we could have gone the long way around. Maybe. Are you still talking, lady? Anyway, all right. Looks like we need to find some mold for the lady so we can uh, figure out how to uh, basically take advantage of of the weakness in the stone so we can uh, topple the regime one step at a time. Can Blaskowitz find the mold he needs? Will he give the uh, the archives back to Anya? And will he get a special reward for his uh, for his heroics? Find out next time on the next episode of Wolfenstein: The New Order. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.